Good morning and welcome to Temple Today. I'm Cheyenne Lash. And I'm Chanel Granham. This morning we have big news on Temple's campus. The university is planning an all new construction plan. More about that next, but first here's Jay Jarvis with today's weather. Jay? Thank you, Chanel, and good morning to all of you at home. I am live here on Temple's campus on Leacor's Walk, and as you can see, the students around me are taking their time getting to class because it is a gorgeous, gorgeous day out here. We have sunny skies, a high of about 61 degrees today. There are no clouds in the sky right now, and we have a calm wind of about six miles per hour. Now, it will get chillier as the day progresses. It will reach a low of 46 degrees, but we will have warm temperatures again tomorrow, 66 degrees, sunny skies, a calm wind of about five miles per hour. Unfortunately, that warm weather will not last throughout the night. We have a low of 52 degrees and a slight chance, about 30% of rain that will continue through Wednesday morning. Now, I'll be back in the studio later on in the show to give you your game day forecast for both the Temple game and the Eagles game on Saturday and Sunday. So we'll see you back in the studio. Cheyenne, back to you. Following up on the kidnapping in Germantown, the suspect Delvin Barnes is appearing in front of a federal court this afternoon at 1.30 p.m. After the federal prosecutors try him on the Philadelphia case, Barnes will be given to Virginia authorities involving a separate abduction of a teenage girl. He is being charged with kidnapping and attempted murder for these cases. Last weekend, a Temple University student was shot in the thigh during an attempted robbery just a few blocks from Temple's main campus. According to NBC Philadelphia, the 19-year-old student was shot in the early hours of Saturday morning. The shooter, who was denied entrance to the party for not being a student, pulled out a gun and tried to rob the student sitting outside. The victim was shot while trying to restrain him. On Monday, November 3rd, Temple University held its third sports journalism summit in the Howard Giddes Student Center. It features the Sports Illustrated Monday morning quarterback, Peter King, as well as the voices of Philadelphia sports. The summit covers a variety of discussions, including the art of the interview and social media for sports coverage. Students are able to participate in the job and internship fair as well. Temple University recently published a draft of the new campus plan. The bold new vision includes a new state-of-the-art library, a new science building even more impressive than the newly opened Cirque, and even more exciting, a new vast green space reminiscent of a central quad right in the heart of main campus. This massive green space will be the length of a city block, taking the places of Bury Beach, Bury Hall, and the Biology Life Sciences Building. And Temple University also has a lot of sports fans on campus. Students are excited and ready for their school's football team as well as the city's team. Let's go to our reporter Becca Hendrickson for an update. Hey guys, I'm Becca Hendrickson at the Sports Desk. Friday night lights in the Bird's House. Can Temple football become bowl eligible for the first time in years? No. <laughs> Memphis was at the link over the weekend. Both teams looking for that elusive six win. Temple starts off strong with an Austin Jones field goal. And then this Kenny Harper breaking the hearts of Memphis fans everywhere. He takes it a career high 75 yards for six. Then it gets ugly. Dropped passes and defensive clashes. Two minutes left in the game and Memphis has the ball. Philly fans know this feeling all too well. <sighs> Dagger Jake Elliott with this 31 yard field goal. As time expires, Memphis goes on to win. 16 to 13. Temple's next chance will come at Happy Valley this weekend. Here's what you need to know. The last time Temple beat Penn State, October 18th, 1941. To put that in perspective, that's a month before the attack on Pearl Harbor. The Nittany Lions are the 10 and a half point favorites going into Saturday's game. And in the last 10 meetings, Temple is averaging just 7.2 points per game. And finally, Temple head coach Matt Rule, he's a Penn State alum. Way to switch over to the good guys, Matt. March up there to Happy Valley, prove everyone wrong, and get that win. If Temple wins, they're bowl eligible for the first time since 2010. All right, and let's switch over to the team responsible for seven weeks of free coffee so far this year. The Eagles are off to their best start in decades at 7-2, and, and they sit on top of the NFC East. I asked Temple students what they think of the Bird Gang so far this year. This is way better than I expected, to be honest. Um, big fan of Chip Kelly. He's going good. Even the commission is like already agreeing to uh, make sure that the refs are already in shape so they can keep up with the tempo of the NFL. His um, offense, new offense, a lot faster. I think it's a lot better. And uh, I think his college experience is really good for the NFL. Kind of a little happy Nick Foles is down. I think Mark Sanchez is probably a better fit for the offense. He looked like he ran it pretty good last week. So looking for a good win today. Thankfully, Chip Kelly runs a quarterback friendly system. and. The responsibilities that he gives to the quarterback make it easy for the quarterback to do their job. Fly, Eagles, fly. 
On the road to victory. <laughs> fight, Eagles, fight. Score a touchdown, one, two, three. Hit them low, hit them high. We'll watch our Eagles fly. Fly, Eagles, fly. On the road to victory. E A G L E S, Eagles! We'll see if the Eagles can keep it up this weekend against the Packers in freezing temperatures at Lambeau. That's sports. I'm Becca Hendrickson. Chanel, back to you. Temple University's Diamond Marching Band. The pride of the cherry and white has been a staple in Temple athletics for almost 90 years and is now making wind in Hollywood, having been featured in films such as The Wolf of Wall Street and the upcoming remake of Annie. Drum major and senior music ed major Gary Clark spoke to us about his experience being featured in the film Annie. It was actually really fun. Um, a lot of hard work though. You know, there's a lot of people, a lot of the extras were there, so everybody's running around trying to do things. Um, the film crew was always like here and there. There are people just making sure that everybody's in the right spot at all times. And it was just a really fun experience in general. The band was also featured in a promo this year for Fox's new TV series, The Red Band Society. Senior Grant Lindemann told us about the band's role in that. They go around to a lot of different children's hospitals around the country and they promote uh, just wellness and they bring different bands, I guess, in the area. So we're uh, Philadelphia is one. We went to Temple's uh, Shriners Children's Hospital um, up on North Broad. Um, it was really cool because we got to play for uh, the children that were able to attend uh, and bring, you know, music and bring a happy atmosphere to the, the, the building. Now that they have been getting so much publicity, we asked drum major Gary if he's been feeling a bit famous knowing he'll be featured on the big screen. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. I mean, my picture's on a, a poster and the like the title poster shot, I guess, that you'll see. It was on Ellen the other day, um, and it's all around on billboards and stuff like that, and I can actually see my face, so I'm a little famous, yeah. Temple University's Diamond Marching Band has also been making a stride into the green direction. With their use of iPads, smartphones, and the DBN Reader app they use to learn drill, they've cut their paper use in almost 100%. Now having the iPads is just so nice. Like, you can see how you should get to a place instead of just seeing like your destination, you see how you could actually get there. So that's definitely really helpful and it's just less paper, go trees. It's just been really great. And then plus you can like look back on all the shows easier than like, especially if it rains and it rains and it gets paper, like it gets wet and then you have all this ripped inky paper. Whereas with my phone, I mean, a few drops won't kill it. So it's been really great. I like it. From movie features to TV promos, the band has been doing amazing things. And with their use of technology, they will only get bigger and better. I'm Chanel Granum reporting for Temple Today. Wow, the band sure is doing a lot this year. Yeah, from their appearance on an uh, ad for the Red Band Society to them being in the Wolf of Wall Street and now featured in the remake of Annie, they are just headed in the right direction, I swear. They are getting some true buzz out in Hollywood, and they're also going green with their uses of smartphones. It's amazing. That is really good Like for them to move forward and uh, just keep up with recycling and just saving trees by going to the smartphones. It's just a lot. It's good. <laughs> and they are also very excited to be heading to Penn State this weekend to cheer on our owls as they face Penn State. <laughs> 
Yeah, speaking of the game, Jade has your extended weather report for this weekend's Temple and Eagles games. Jade? Thanks, Cheyenne. I'm back in the studio with your extended forecast. And as you can see, the warm weather will be leaving us for the rest of the week, and we will be seeing a huge drop in temperatures. For Thursday, high of 50 and a low of 34, we do have a chance of precipitation later on in the evening, about 30%, but you don't have to worry about that going into Friday. We have a high of 45 and a low of 29, and it will be clear skies, but it will be chilly, so you'll definitely need to bundle up. Saturday, 43 and 30 here in Philadelphia, but for the Temple game at State College, we're looking at highs of 43 and a low of 36, so you'll definitely need that hat and scarf if you're going up to the game. Moving on to Saturday, here in Philadelphia, we have a high of 46 and a low of 37 with a slight chance of rain, but at Lambeau Field for the game against the Packers, 46 and 37. Moving on to Monday, we have a high of 44 and a low of 28. That will be our lowest temperature for the week, so you'll definitely need to bundle up for that day as well. Now, back to you guys at the desk. And that's going to do it for us this morning. I'm Cheyenne Lash. And I'm Chanel Granum. Thanks for tuning in to Temple Today. We'll see you tomorrow.